Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Be Scrap and I want to start today with a new project. I will do another Halloween album. I have some papers. Um, some I have already in my stash. I have some printouts and I have a really nice paper collection from uh, La Blanche. Um, and this is from UH Gallery, Magic Night. This is a really nice paper. And I think this will be a very nice theme for another Halloween album. one from La Blanche. I have this collection, um, these spooky cards and there are some backgrounds. This one and this looks like this. Here are some cards to cut out and this is the background and this one looks like this on the background. <coughs> um, I have some print printouts from Etsy. I thought hmm, this will be fitting to this paper collection. This is a journal kit, but I think we can use this also for some nice, nice pages. We can cut this here in the middle. This one also. We can make here <coughs> some nice journaling spots. And I have this one. This is more in the blue colored range. I printed out uh, one in landscape and one in portrait style. This I have only once. And these two. And we have here some beds and some skulls. Some spider web. And this is also very nice, a nice background. And then I have this one and this one and I have here a frame maybe I will fussy cut this one and make it as a picture frame so I have no clue how these will look like and the only thing I know is that I will do um, something like this <clears throat> I will make a box that looks like a house. This is only a tryout. And we have here a lid that holds here later on our doors closed. And we can open this. And here inside will be our um, mini album. This will be already covered up with some of these uh, spooky house papers. <clears throat> I will make here these doors with some hinges. And what I have, I have here, um, I think a locker. I don't know it 
exactly here with the key and maybe I will close here our doors with this locker and I have from La Blanche from the paper collection also some um, cutouts we can make here these as a door and there are already or also <coughs> here some ladies and here I have this one some pumpkins we have um, here this family yeah I will see what we can do with all these goodies and I will start I think I will go with the flow um, the measurements of the album will be uh, eight and a half by nine and a half the cover <coughs> sorry and our pages will be an eight by nine okay so this will be a little bit more like a landscape I will put this one aside and I am working with black papers I am starting with my base pages and I think I will do four main pages, maybe five. <clears throat> we will see. And where are my glasses? Oh, here. <laughs> On my head. Okay. This will be an 8 inch, so this one has to be a little shorter, and a 9 inch. I need 8 of my A4 papers, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8. And I will cut these papers um, in, yeah, how to cut. <sighs> um, I want to make some inserts, but in this case we have to do the inserts from the top. not from the side so then I have to cut here these papers in nine and a half <clears throat> so these measurements are nine and a half where is my pencil Eight by nine and a half, and we have eight of these. And we have to make a fold line. half inch on one side
will do this again. I have, have grabbed two papers, so this is better. We have to make sure that we are straight. Then I will connect two of these together. One hinge is on the one side and the other is on the other side. Where is my glue? Here it comes. So and I will already close the pocket. And these will be the A side of our base pocket. I will do this with all my other four pages and then I will be back. So, okay, I made all my base pages and I already put in the inserts and I cut the B side for my base pages in the same size as my pocket. <clears throat> and now we can start with page number one. Um, I already pre-cut the most of the things I need. And 
I will start with some flips here on my first pocket base. There will be one flip to the left and one flip to the right. I'm starting to glue my two flips on my base. <clears throat> and I think I will round my corners Um, this flip on the right side it's shorter than the other one and I measured this fitting for these printable papers and for those who want to know the measurements these are 7 inch by 8 inch And we have here no, uh, a half inch hinge, so this will be seven and a half. On the inside I will do here a simple layout with this printable paper. This goes on here and then I will do with these cutouts here. A decoration and you can place here a picture so this will be not glued everything down so you can stuck this behind and you can place your picture here um, I have to distress my edges and I think I will work with black
Yes. Okay. Um, here for the inside, <clears throat> I have what I will do a pocket. Um, but we need a closure. So I think I have to start on these sides. There will be also a pocket. Here. And we have to round the corners here also. This is three and a quarter inch piece and it fits here on my eight inch side. So I glue this one down.
So here we have our pockets and I think I will put some picture mats inside, some photo mats and here on these inside I will make also a pocket. This is the other pocket and now we can go here on these two outsides starting here and on here I will <laughs> in this way or this this I think I will do this on the inside
page number one is uh, finished, I glued here these chipboard pieces on um, some form tape to give them a little bit more dimension. Also here these these beds and on the inside I put already here some photo mats inside. The decora decoration will become later. Maybe I will do something here also. Um, I do this later when I have more leftovers and then we can go to page number two. <laughs> ¶¶